So I actually made this video a while ago, but I ended up not using it because a lot of uh, opinions changed. But anyway, just kind of wanted to go over my wish list for Vanguard 2021. I know everyone's doing the prediction for overdress, but I think there's not much to predict. So just kind of ranting. You can, you know, have the video playing in the background. I'm just gonna go over my collection of cards. Uh, not much has changed if you've seen my uh, binder video, but uh, just kind of want to go through it because it's kind of like nostalgia for me and what I would like to see uh, going forward for Vanguard. So Overdress announcement will be in a few hours. They're going to announce the new anime, I assuming, because uh, it's Overdress announcement. And they are going to talk a bit about the card game. Uh, they're not going to show any cards, I imagine, like the actual effects or anything like that. They might talk a little bit about the mechanics. So that could be cool. Uh, don't know really how they're going to fix current standards. So my opinion, my my prediction would be uh, just continuing. They're just gonna have V series and Overdress, uh, you know, going on still. So we'll still have premium, and then we'll just have standard, whatever it is right now. Uh, because usually I expect that the Overdress cards are just gonna overpower out. Hopefully not too hard. So. You can still use the old cards, so it's not. It's it was like that for uh, G, where when strides were introduced, legions was still a thing. So, I expect that it's going to be similar uh, to that, uh, but we'll still have the two format split. Uh, what I would like to see though is they just get rid of standard, but uh, that's here or there. I I I I I want like the anime to just be just overdress. So people can play with the overdress cards. They can see how the cards work and get excited for the cards. And then uh, uh, the main tournament format is just premium, but or just regular Vanguard. But I doubt that. I, I highly doubt that's going to happen uh, because it's it's not like encouraging new players, I guess, to get in the game. Although that philosophy is wrong because Yu-Gi-Oh has a big format. And they, they get tons of players, so uh, it's kind of a moot point. But, you know, Vanguard has gone through a lot. Like, uh, you can see old, here's the old Chrono Jet Dragon, that's from the World Finals. Uh, I have this Chrono Dren G from the Continentals, and you get these gift markers for going to regionals, uh, BCSs and BSS. So, those are fun. Uh, these were just promos that you are given going to events. Got these from Japan, so those are cool. Uh, Spring Fest, BWC, that's what the uh, BCS used to be called. Uh, so it was BWC, then BSF, that was how it was called. And then 2017 uh, was that one year where it was BCS uh, two times. So the spring, autumn, so that's cool. Uh, so mechanic-wise, what I would like to see happen for the... Uh, Overdress, I imagine they might reintroduce the G-Zone. Uh, they, that's a mechanic thing I could think would happen. Not necessarily strides, but they might just have some kind of gimmick where you can, I don't know, kind of like a Yu-Gi-Oh! Pendulum Summon. You know, you get a bunch of monsters or unit cards in the, in the, in the G-Zone and they'll come out. So I think that's what they might do. It's kind of like the Murakumo. Uh, stride cards where they just become units on the rear guard. So I can kind of see that happen. Uh, that'll be kind of cool. And that's what I actually thought was going to happen before the reboot was announced the first time. But uh, that's that's just something that I thought would be interesting. So I think that's what the new mechanic would be. I, I can't imagine it being something completely different. Because are they going to continue gifts? They might. But it's that was more of a V-series mechanic. Usually... Uh, what they might do is just uh, create uh, the new mechanic cards and then sprinkle in gift cards. So I think that might is what they might do. Um, now, other things that I would like to see happen for Bushy Road is a unified 
World Championships. What that means is that we still have our BCSs, our BSFs. We still got all of that. Japan will still have their WGPs or VMCs. Yeah, they have a lot more fun events than we do, but uh, they still got everything there. But then for our BWC, for our World Championship Finals, they should just merge uh, the Japanese and, Eng and English format. Now you go, whoa, but they have uh, Japanese cards and their card pool is bigger. So what? Uh, when they go to Worlds, you can have a unified card list. That's what Yu-Gi-Oh does. Why can't they do that in fan card? It doesn't mean, you know, it just means that the Japanese player base has to remember their last format. Or they try to make the English release uh, match more of the Japanese. So either way, I would like, that's what I would like to see. That would be really cool. Um, other things, you know, maybe lower the power creep. I think uh, the game has kind of accelerated too hard. Uh, every set kind of blew out the last set. So that's why like rotation doesn't really matter. Uh, Vanguard's already been doing that. Every time they release a new set, they rotate the last. So uh, that's actually the truth. But, you know, that's not a creative thinking. So I, I just think that they're just gonna continue uh, going through it. Wow, looking at these cards though, they're so cool. I, I just haven't looked at these in so long. Um, it has a lot of good memories here. Some of my Gear Chronicle stuff. But anyway, I think that's just gonna wrap up my video. It's pretty short, pretty quick. Just wanna throw it out there because everyone else is doing it. And I will, I will definitely upload a better video about the news for Overdress because uh, that's going to be exciting, I think. Um, oh yeah, I got these promos too. They were given out. And then these are all my, some of my old tags. But anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and end the video there, and then I'll see you guys, you know, in a few hours.